I let you out there today in this video I'm just going to be telling you guys out there about what I got to on my week so far. So on Monday it was my birthday and I can now officially say I'm feeling 22. Can't believe I'm now 22 and early on the morning of my birthday unfortunately my mum wasn't very well so she had to go off to hospital and my younger sister went in with her. Turns out the blood flow she was injected into her stomach cause an infection so she's in there for a few days and so I was woken up on my birthday by my dad he wished me a happy birthday and then had a quick shower had a bit of breakfast and then we went off to pick my younger sister up from the hospital and we got some food because my grandma was out from hospital so it was one person one panting out of hospital and one panting in hospital. So we got food for my grandma, got to my grandma's house and got that put away and the house ready for her to come back to. She came back and the first thing she asked was where was my dad's dad, my granddad, who died of about four or five years ago. And he's, she's got dementia and it's getting worse. I think she should have been put into a home, but she's been taken home and she's got full time care at home but she doesn't recognise her house anymore and I think it'd be better for her to go because she'd be able to make more friends and she wouldn't feel so alone and so she gave me a hug and I don't think she recognised me which was a bit sad but she gave me a hug anyway and I was just having a nice chat with her and she kept on mentioning about the Salvation Army that she worked for when she was younger and about my cousin Tabitha asking about her and so we were just having a chat and then we went off home and I watched a bit of TV and my dad had to go get some stuff from the chemist that he's got shoes at the moment but he's feeling a lot better than he was coughing a lot because he's got a bit of a cold as well and yeah so it's all falling apart and my younger sister went off to bed because she had not that much sleep and she has her new job starting soon and so she was asleep and so is my dad so I just watched a bit of TV and listened to a bit of music then went out there and had some lunch and watched Jersey 6 out the TV out there then my grandma and grandpa came over my old brother got back from work and he went off to go shopping because we were going to go for a meal but I said I'm going to just have a party tea and we had a really nice party tea it was delicious all my favorite treats so that was good and I opened some of my cards and then my old sister came over and my old sister and old brother and dad were out the end room working on something and I was like what are they working on they're like never keep down out of the end room and I was annoyed because I thought my best mate had forgot my birthday because he hadn't posted on the Facebook on a birthday post but he did in the end so I was relieved so I always placed on his and he said he was going to so I got a bit worried and a bit miffed and I couldn't get a hold of him because I was trying to call him and text him and FaceTime but he's on holiday so he finally put a birthday message up so I got a bit jealous because he did one for my friend Elka a big soccer one I was like hey you do one for me because I've known him for a long time now so he did using a very embarrassing photo but that's what birth parts are for they bust the hell out of each other. Bless him. And then we had our party tea. And before I open my presents and before I show you, I'm just going to show you what they were working on. Please didn't drop it. And yeah, so you may know that I love Doctor Who. They made me a Doctor Who TARDIS cake. And unfortunately, it's been hacked at because the temptation was too much to resist. My older brother tried a bit last night and he was very impressed with his cake making because it is really nice. It's sponge and then it's got jam inside and I love jam. My younger sister not so much but she had a little slip of it and yeah I love that. Now I'm going to be showing you the presents I got for my birthday. So what my older brother got me was these two ornaments here which she's obsessed with at the moment he got my grandma a duck one 
and he's got my geese, a dog and a turtle. So I'll probably I would put these in my dollhouse or put them on my shelf in my office. I think I might put them on my shelf in my office if I could find them because they're super cute. And then he got me a massive bag of jelly beans, but unfortunately I love jelly beans and they're all gone. I did give some of my siblings a few of them as well. I didn't eat all of them myself, although I probably could. And then he also got me this thing here, which it times how it's a watch and it times how far you walk and stuff. It's kind of like a Fitbit. And yeah, can't wait to get that sorted out because I'm always going on walks. Then I got some fudge yesterday night from where I went and saw my, my mum in hospital after seeing my grandma at her hospital. I got Shawn Mendes' new album. I saw him in concert back in April in London in the OQ and he was amazing. I just love him and I love his new song called Senorita with Carmen Cabello. Then I got this game here called Yes No where you have to read a card to the person next to you and you have to be really quick and have to try to catch them out and if they say yes, no or hesitate you are then out and that person gets the card that's reading to you it's quite hard and I'm not a quick reader so I wasn't very good at playing that unfortunately and I didn't win because I hesitated but hey ho, all part of the game then I got this book here which I'm so happy about it's called When the Curtain Falls by K. H. Fletcher and it is a cross between The Fight of the Opera and Middle Witch, two of my favourite musicals and yeah I can't wait to read this. I love K. H. Fletcher. My younger sister was Wild Dallas and I was like don't worry I will let you read it, we can share it. And uh, then on to the doll stuff. Thought I wasn't going to be getting any more doll stuff and I ended up getting quite a bit which is good, but I'm running out of room in my dollhouse, so I don't know where it's all going to go. That's the drama of it. And I got this one, which is called Party Time. And it's got cakes, party bags, and presents, and some ice lollies. And this is a company called Le Toy Van, which is such a great company, I will probably be getting a lot more accessories from them. And this one here I got is a little play room set and it's got some toys and a little bike. I can't wait to put that in the toy room in my dollhouse. Then I got this doll here, which she comes in a wheelchair and it is so cool. I have dyspraxia and when I was younger I used to have to be in a wheelchair when walking long distances because my muscles and my legs weren't that great and I had a lot of pain in my knees and so this doll is very important to me and I love how Barbie are showing that you're beautiful no matter your disability and there's a one and quick it's like don't let your disability not disability and yeah it's really cool she's a really beautiful doll and yeah i'll have to figure out where to put her then i got this little chelsea doll um her head's a bit crazy but hey ho i love it and i had her sat on the lap of the doll in the wheelchair but unfortunately she do keep falling off a bit but I'll have to just try and place her in a dollhouse. I'll probably put her in the little school I have. And then I got this one here, which is got a little Tommy doll and it's a sand pit with a slide. It's so cool. I don't know where I'm going to put that either, but I'm sure I'll find some room for that. And then the last thing I got. I really wanted for quite a while is this Barbie fashion design studio that I definitely know where this is going because for ages I've wanted this and I found you for it. I also got a fashion design doll that comes with a black top and she has a tape measure on her top which she can't take off unfortunately so I'm going to put her with this set 
and she comes with a tablet like with fashion design stuff on so it's really it's really cool and yeah i'm really looking forward to putting that with this set and that is all that i got and before i forget i'm going to be ordering this Frax Hayden Williams Yasmin collector doll that i've wanted for ages i have a dilemma i don't know if i want to keep it in the box or if i want to open it when i get it and it was i'll then f I'll figure out if i want to open it or not but i had enough birthday money to buy it so i'm going to be ordering that later on then we me and my grandma and grandpa after i opened my presents and my cards went to the hospital to see my mum and my younger sister came too she was almost falling asleep that's said the poor thing and we had a nice catch up with her got back and i had a bit of the blue icing that was left over from my brother and my dad and my older sister were making the cake and we then played yes no and i ended up hesitating just as i was about to win it so i was a bit annoyed but all part of the game then my older sister went off home and i went up there and was watching the english soap the Emmerdale Horrocks what type of thing and the Rob Vaughan content in Emmerdale this week has been so great and it's just lovely to have on my birthday then I wrote my journal put that away and went to bed slept like a baby I had such a great night's sleep and then Tuesday I was up nice and early and my younger sister had her first day at work at Marks and Spencer's and she was a bit nervous in the night but she had a really good day and my younger brother is off on holiday at the moment he's giving me an Amazon voucher of some sort so I'm looking forward to getting that and being able to buy whatever takes a fancy and hopefully he's having a lovely time over in Magaluf with his mates and he's behaving himself then I had some breakfast and watched some old episodes of Baby Daddy, love that show so much. My dad was asleep, he got up and was sorting stuff around the house. I went off to go to the charge shops but got halfway and I was like I can't be bothered. So I came back, a good thing I didn't spend some of my budget money or I wouldn't be off to get the frats, that's what I'm going to get later on. Then we got ready and went off to see my mum in the hospital and we stopped off at the garage and got some lunch then we went and went to the charge shop next to the vape shop where my dad goes to get his vape stuff i went into the charge shop hoping that or thinking that he'd be coming in afterwards but i finished looking in the charge shop and he still wasn't outside or wasn't hadn't come in so i went in to see what was taking him so long and he was on a nice chin wag with the guy that serves him who now knows him on a first name basis and the guy was quite cute and he had a wolf tattoo on his arm my dad could probably see that I had a bit of a crush on him so he started embarrassing him so I was like come on dad and then we went off to go to the hospital but my grandma and grandpa were there they were going to go in the evening but they were there early so we decided to go see my grandma instead I had to go to the bank and the shop to get some stuff for my grandma then went in and she was quite confused yesterday unfortunately and her care trees is lovely and we had some custard tea and they were watching an old episode of coronation street so i was sat watching that and just having a nice chat with my grandma then we went and picked my younger sister up for my first day of work then we went and got some subway and i had a cheese and tuna melt with lots of cucumber lettuce and gherkins gherkins are my favorite i love them and then I got myself a drink and because I chose the drink from the medal, my young sister got the white chocolate milk chocolate cookie, lucky thing. And then we went and saw my mum in hospital and that's when I got the chocolate cream fudge from the hospital shop. And I pushed her in the wheelchair to the shop, couldn't get her into the shop unfortunately. And so my dad's like, I think I'll take over now, Dan. Then we said goodbye and we got ourselves back in and then we made our way home and I watched the evening soaps and watched Active Bridge and a bit of Hobbin and just ended up turning it off because sometimes Hobby's really good, sometimes it isn't. 
and I haven't seen any Doff DNA just where Dom and Off DNA also in Active Bridge we need Nori to be a thing Naveed and Koi need to get together and yeah in the, in the trailer for season 3 it showed them having a bit of an argument so who knows what's going to happen but I hope it goes on for quite a long time one of my favourite characters died it was so unexpected I was just like oh my god and then today I got up it's the middle of the week, you guys know what that means. Only two more days until the weekend. And my dad let me know that my mum should hopefully be coming out of hospital tomorrow. They're very impressed with her. She, uh, I don't want this to work in her lungs. Her kidneys seem a lot better because they were worried about her kidneys, unfortunately. But she's doing a lot better. I had a shower, so I keep on fiddling with my hair because I've only just had a haircut. And I just don't know if it looks alright. But um, that's one of the things. Turn and try to, I'm going to try and be a new me, I'm just going to try not to worry about my hair as much, stress about followers, stress about YouTube subscribers, because my mate, my best mate's got a YouTube gaming channel, and he's almost got the same amount or even more subscribers to me, and I'm not going to let that, I'm not going to let it bother me now, because I'm just going to enjoy my channel and enjoy making videos, and I don't really care about the subscribers, if you want to subscribe, go on, I mean, I'd love it, I'm grateful for it, but I'm not going to let it stress me out. If I lose a subscriber or if I don't have as many as I like, because it goes up and down like a yeah, same with following, so I'm just going to enjoy life to the fullest. And yeah, I, I'm i going off to pick my young sister from work later on, and then we're going to go in and see my mum. And I then have touch work for you tomorrow, and I can't wait. And then Friday and Saturday, it's what, it's two school first that my dad's going to be DJing at while playing music and announcing the winners of certain prizes. So I'm going off there to help him. I'm going to have a good rummage. Last year, at my my the school I went to was fair. They had a load of toys and stuff, so they had quite a few dolls. So hopefully I'll be able to find a few there this time as well. And the weather's supposed to be really nice. It's a bit cloudy today, but quite humid. And um, it's supposed to be really nice the next few days. But I've got no clean, clean cork and trousers, so I'm going to be my dad sorting out the washing out there at the moment, out the end of it. So I'm just get, going through getting some out of washing them for me because I only have these two pairs left and they're like ones that I don't really like to wear. But if I have to, got to wear them, I shall. Or I'll just wear my jeans, I don't know. I'll just have to sort that out later on. And yeah, I'm now off to go. Have some lunch, watch today's Aussie Six, don't mind my music doll, I'll probably have a bit of my cake and a cup of tea because it is scrumptious. I hope you guys have had a great week so far, or have a lovely rest of your week, and I shall see you soon, we do vlog, kind of very soon. Bye!